What's up, muffle shuppers and puffle duppers and shuppy duppy muffies? Um, wanted to share with you my experience with a Crown Macrotech 1200 power amplifier that I purchased off of eBay in the last week. like this. This is a macro tech, not a micro tech. And uh, if you notice, uh, I've got it opened up because uh, it had some issues. Um, it had some issues. And I'm going to get to those in a minute. Anyway, here's what it looks like. Um, Speaker terminals, banana plugs, or you can screw them and do bare wire. Uh, but two channel stereo amp with balanced inputs, which is excellent uh, XLR and tip ring sleeve. So uh, this is an excellent amp from way back in the day, and it seems to weigh, I think it weighs, weighs about at least 50 pounds. So very, very heavy, not a switching power supply. Uh, the newer amps have got these uh, power supplies that don't need uh, big transformers and weight, right? They, in the past, generally you would characterize your amplifier about how heavy it was would determine how loud or powerful it would be. A heavy amp because you need uh, those heavy metal components to really give you power and quality so they've technology has kind of moved in a different direction and they use switching power supplies which was the K series of crown power amps but this is a macro tech this is an old school amp really heavy but uh, when I unboxed it and turned it on it had some issues and took me a good hour before I finally got it uh, working and when it was finally working, I got both channels eventually to work. Uh, there was a loud buzz coming from the top panel, uh, not something that would be considered normal. Um, although it, it, it did begin to work, uh, but it heated up pretty considerably on the top. Uh, so anyway, after thinking about it for a day, uh, I decided the only solution obviously to the problem is uh, pop the lid and take a look inside and that was going to uh, quantify any suspicions you had about the operation of the amp and sure enough I was correct in my suspicion because unlike the auction stated that it had been inspected by a technician and certified to be in 100% operating condition uh, it was not and the reason being is that it was completely filled with dust. I topped the, popped the lid off and man, I've never seen that much dust caked into anything in my life. And it was the kind of dust that wouldn't come out with the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner wouldn't even budge this dust, suck it out. It was just sucked into the interior of the amp. And mainly because what had happened is on this particular amp, one of its features is, although I have this disassembled and this is the bottom, and the interesting thing is that you'll find out, like I found out very quickly, that the way that guys use and work on these is on its side, because it's so damn heavy. So anytime you deal with this, you put it on its side and with some elbow grease on these little precision machine screws uh, the bottom panel will, and the top panel will come off and you can pretty much access everything here almost kind of in a modular fashion uh, my battery is going to hack out I just bought this camera uh, the camera's working I oiled it up but the two batteries that came with it uh, evidently are shit but anyway this is the issue the issue was is that not only was it filled up with dust, but the fan was not working. So here we go. So 
So I got it working, kind of. So for all of the chit chatter in the users groups on the internet about the fan former. This is the fan former. So this is a combination transformer and motor. And the transformer, which is in here, produces 15 volts AC for the DC power supply for the amp. So it's a two-fold component. And it, can, it will not work without the fan because it needs the transformer that produces 15 volts AC. So when I turned this on, this fan was seized and I only had the top of it off. And it's going to quit spinning again here pretty soon, but I'll show you the top side of the amp. Uh, here's the top. And here's the fan former. So the transformer that provides 15 volts AC for the other components in the amp. And then the fan with its motor. And this is a component really that kind of needs to be replaced. Even though I was able to get it to turn, as you can see. Lots of different uh, chit chatter about the kinds of bearings that are in here. I'm going to turn it off. Stop spinning. And the issue here, I, I oiled this and I, what I did to get rid of the dust was to blow it out with an air compressor. And that is the best way that you can clean it. So, uh, but the issue is, is that the whole unit, you can see, moves a little bit, right? The whole transformer motor assembly is loose. And there's only one bracket, the top bar here and here, that seem to hold it on. And it seems to be the screw is here and the screw is here. Uh, so I am trying to address this bit of movement, uh, which is not good. Um, there are two screws that I tightened up. One is here. And one is here underneath the fan blade, uh, but it's this motion uh, that's given, that's causing the trouble. And also, whenever the fan turns on, like many ventilation fans in your uh, bathroom, it, it the axle moves, so it comes down. But if I push this back in again into the position where it would normally be before it kind of drops down, it runs fine, as you can see here. But I've made great progress, at least the, the fan is spinning. And maybe in a little bit I'll be able to figure out um, what I'm going to do. Uh, the amp, whenever it's running, is in um, ODEP mode on the front, right? you got green lights and then you got these red lights. Well, what that is, is um, I looked it up. You can look it up on the Crown website, but it's OD EP protection, thermal protection. So it's a analog computer modeled circuit that reads the temperature. And if it's not, the circuitry is not cool enough in the amp, it limits the output stage to keep it from overheating and so it's running in that mode obviously uh, either because the fan wasn't spinning and it was running hot uh, whether or not I could ever get it to go back but the thing is is that uh, as many of other people have stated on the chat groups on the internet that they've had the exact same problem this fan is a common component in many amps and obviously it uh, goes bad over time and gives people trouble so what happens is, is it seizes it doesn't spin and then either the motor or the transformer will buzz uh, but the amp will continue to run because it's so heavy and uh, well built as these old amps are here are all the transistors all right Man, look at all those things. And this thing is built like a tank. Uh, sorry, I'm in the dark. It's built like a tank so that it cools itself.
pretty well and for I don't even know what the wattage is rated for man it's at least like 300 watts aside I'm not running it I, I got the volume pots on the front uh, at three quarters and I'm and I'm playing a Rhodes through it so with the lid off and after I blew the dust out uh, and turned it on it wasn't heating up at all like it was yesterday when it was filled up with dust so some guys are using and running this amp without the fan turning uh, and they take the lid off and there's no problems and that's kind of where I was with it uh, earlier tonight um, I just now took the bottom panel off to get to see if I could access the fan blades which I did but earlier it was on sitting with just the top off uh, and I had it plugged in and turned on and it sounds amazingly good so it's worth figuring out what is going on with it because the sound of these crown amps